Linda Cano is having a really, really bad day. This morning, she set out on a secret mission with a hastily assembled squad. It should have been a simple in and out job. All they needed to do was steal a shipping container from the warehouse of a minor earth laboratory. And the contents? Well, what you don't know can't hurt you. Allegedly. The plan fell apart the moment they left the warehouse. And rather than a quick retreat with the mysterious package, she's now stuck in the middle of nowhere in a rapidly falling shell. And things are about to get worse. Welcome to Team B, a war robot story. Episode one, Bad Day. Come on, come on, come on, come on! I'm down to my last shield here. If I take another hit, I'm going to have to eject. Just... Anyone? Ab meter. Oh, great. Just great. Oh, there go all my mods. Anyone? I'm ejecting. If you maybe want to send out a search party, or if you want to let me know you're still alive. Ugh, damn it. Instead of glitching out, that'd be great. Where's the damn meeting point? Oh, come on! It's gotta be around here somewhere. Here we go. The base is the other way. The base is the other way. Oh great, now I get a signal? <sighs> this is gonna be a long walk. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. Are, are you okay? You look pretty battered up. Mm. <clears throat> Good. Oh, Jesus. That was... That went wrong, right? That wasn't the way things were supposed to go. This was not in the contract. Mm -mm. Do you think they know we're down here? These doors aren't exactly subtle. Mm. But they shouldn't have been able to see us come in. So. Hmm. Uh, what if one of the others gave us up? Hmm. Um, this would be a whole lot easier if I knew sign language. Uh, do you think the others... Uh, I guess all we can do is wait. Shit, come on! Oh, come on, it's gotta be around here somewhere! Finding a hideout buried in a big hill would be easier if this whole landscape wasn't just big damn hills! Ugh. Oh shit. Louis? Arnav? Ash? I'm... I can't get in. I lost my pass key. I think I'm... On the roof? That's one way to make an entrance. Oh. What is this place? 
<sighs> yeah, gives me the creeps. Oh, what was that? Hmm. Hmm. Cats? How did they get in? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I was lucky I was standing on one. Hmm. Oh, God, that's the best news I've heard all day. I am starving. So this is our rendezvous, huh? Yeah, it's not exactly what I expected. How did you, um... Ah, the boy genius survived. Louis pulled me in through an escape hatch in the roof. Oh, you do look, uh... Muddy? Yeah, it's good to see you too. No sign of Ash? Not as far as we can see. We've been trying to figure out what happened, but my sign language is bad. Hmm. <laughs> I'm guessing we've had no word from our mysterious employer yet? Nothing. Oh, shit. You, uh... Nope. It's still on site. We got it out of the building okay, and I had the damn box right in front of me, but we had to leave it. It was that or take a whole bunch of fire, and we couldn't take much more. You, you had it, and you let it go? And then I lost my bot. It's been a long, long day. Hmm. <clears throat> sorry, Louis. Uh, sorry, Arnav. You'll see when you've been on more missions. Sometimes things just go really wrong. <laughs> And you, you have to bail. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Ooh, that smells great. You've never had one of Louis' stews, have you? Uh, He's famed in the Merc world. Give the guy a tin of beans in a half an hour, and you'll have a real feast. I'm not really hungry. You okay? Yeah. Make it back to your bot? Yeah, he got me here okay. Not sure how much more he can take, though. Let's just say I wasn't exactly expecting combat today. You've, uh, lost yours, right? Yeah. I got ejected and came down in the wrong direction. Jeez. Uh, well, that was a complete disaster. What the hell happened out there? <clears throat> yeah, it wasn't exactly the simple heist we were promised. Uh, sorry. Louis said that they were waiting for us. Apme suspects that the place was virtually unguarded. The firewalls at the power plant came down easy enough, but I feel like they were more well-prepared than they should have been. With the details we had, this place should have had maybe one guard at most. This whole site doesn't make any sense. You're telling me. From the outside, it looks like nothing, but the inside? What were the labs like? At first glance, everything was low and basic, but when we got inside, it was a whole lot bigger. Like... like an iceberg. Way smaller on top than it is underwater. And the tech? <laughs> I'm not exactly a tech person, but it looked a whole lot higher grade than some farm lab. And the power plant wasn't standard at all. It was kicking up more power than I've seen outside of a multi-level industrial complex. Shit. Huh? Shh. You hear that? Hmm? Did you check the cupboards before you set up camp? We didn't think we needed to. Who's there? What do you want? Ah! Ah! Hmm. Meter? I apologize for the surprise. I was on charge. And you couldn't give us any kind of warning? No. I was, how can I put it, dead to the world. Great. So that's the reason you couldn't give me any help when I was running, completely exposed, across the battlefield. You were having a little nap. Running distraction drones completely wiped my battery. I was lucky to make it back to charge on time. With a flat battery, I'm about as much use as half a toaster. And you couldn't just let us know you were here? I didn't even have time to send a message. And I was charging in stealth mode to reduce my chances of detection. That's a great excuse. Excuse? If you had to go off and charge your battery, you couldn't have been focusing on the mission. I assure you I was focusing on the mission. For someone who seemed to be incredibly well prepared, who had the whole plan thought out with 100% accuracy, things sure went really damn wrong. 98.5%. What? It was to 98.5% accuracy. There are always flaws, usually down to human error. I notice that Ash has yet to return. Perhaps he is where the error lies? Hey, App Meter. Yes? I heard that android consciousnesses just automatically pop up in a new body if they get damaged too badly. Is that true? No. No, that's a myth. Are you sure? I do understand the pressures operating on you, Linda. 
I'm aware that you took out rather a large loan to purchase the upgrades on your current robot. No, really. Keep talking. I definitely want you to share my personal financial history with everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know you know it all, Louis, but I don't know Arnav. No offense. Then taken. I'm, uh, sorry. Don't be. They're subsidiary costs. You're always going to risk losing your robot and having to get a replacement. It's not happened to me yet. Touch wood. Really? You've never lost a robot? I've not been out in the field that often. Not on missions like this. I'm more of a tech guy. Well, tech guy, how did you enjoy your first brush with danger? It wasn't exactly my first brush with danger, but I'm glad we're back here. <laughs> as far as I know, Ash can look after himself. Is that the uh, usual sign language for the name Ash, or one you've worked out between yourselves? Uh, well, <laughs> don't let him know that's what we call him. <laughs> because it looks a lot like... Yeah, well, that's what you get when you do a couple of missions with Louis and refuse to even try and learn sign language. <laughs> uh, Linda, would you mind lowering your gun? This should have been a simple in-and-out job. The information provided was based upon what is commonly known about the lab. Clearly, there is some deception afoot, given the discrepancy between the lab and its blueprints. But did they know we were coming? Only the five of us knew the plan. Do you think someone tipped them off? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know androids could shrug. It's a non-standard movement. I likely won't repeat it. It put a lot of unnecessary strain on my shoulder joints. So, where is Ash? Do you think he's... Uh... Nah, he's a slippery bastard. He'll be out there somewhere. Good. I have a bone to pick with him. Hmm? He left me on my own in the power plant. Told me I had a robot on my tail and to get back in Ravenna, and then went radio silent. Didn't mention there were two of them coming for me. Ah. You didn't hear from him after that, did you? Because I'd call that suspicious. I mean, the man is full of ulterior motives. So do you reckon he betrayed us? Set us all up, played his part, and then went off and hid? I don't know. That's not really his style. <laughs> so what is his style? Usually a gunshot in the back of the head. He's not really a sabotage kind of guy. It's a bit too subtle for him. I'm still not on board. Being left on my own isn't exactly a great recommendation for his character. Honestly, I'd say he's as likely to betray us as anyone else. That doesn't mean much, though. <sighs> I'm going to look around the facility. See if there's anything we can make use of. Watch out down there. It's really dark. And stay away from the industrial lift. The what? I, I think that's what it is. Looks like they used to move tanks or something with it. But the platform's gone, so it's basically just a massive hole in the ground. Ah. I kicked a stone in and I couldn't even hear it hit the bottom. So don't fall. I'll try not to. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Uh, oh, there they are. Let's see what kind of damage we're looking at. does seem to be a lot of close combat damage. Don't move. With a gun to the back of her head and her teammates far out of earshot, what lies in store for Linda? Find out next week in Team B. Team B is based on the War Robots game universe. Play now at wr.app slash play. You heard Kristen DiMercurio as Linda, Brandon G. Green as Louie, Nathan Blades as Arnav, and Felix Trench as Apnita. You also heard the voice of Christopher Byron as narrator. Caroline Minx was the sign language consultant. The series was written, recorded, and directed by Beth Crane and Headley Knights of Battlebird Productions. Sound design was by Ilya Viktorov. Produced by Pixonic.